Right then, I'm going to do a tech, uh, divert the valve leak in. Um, and obviously water's gone onto the head, onto the motor and tripping. So I'm going to replace them both. I'm going to drain it down on the right hand side. I've got a bowl underneath because there's not much room. Um, I'm going to move the spark generator to repressurize the expansion vessel as I'm draining it down. Um, and I obviously got to make sure I've isolated the primary flow and returns. Um, yeah. So you can see the um, diverter valve. This one doesn't have a bypass. Um, I'm going to loosen the nut on the underneath. Um, to, that's to drain a bit more of the water down. Uh, when I take the cartridge out. But yeah, that's how I've seen better days. I can have a look inside. There we are. Make sure you check there's no debris and all clean and greased all the o-rings and then I'm putting the new one back in as I said this doesn't have um, the built-in bypass I was told that if it's got an A after the model name and number they don't contain bypasses I don't know if it's true but there's the new uh, part all working make sure everything's bolted back on and do the usual checks please like and subscribe and check out my YouTube